How's it going guys, it's Kyle with the How To Guy 123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to access the secret internet browser on the Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch Lite. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go down to system settings and then go down to internet and then internet settings and you're going to want to wait for all of your networks to load and once you've done that go ahead and select your network and then go down to change settings and then once again go down to DNS settings and change it from automatic to manual. You'll see two new options have appeared, primary DNS and secondary DNS. So we're going to want to focus on primary DNS, so go ahead and select it. And you're going to want to enter this DNS server here. So it's 045.055.142.122. And once you've entered that, go ahead and press the plus button to uh, enter that. And we can leave secondary DNS as default, so just leave it as 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. And once you've done that, go ahead and select save, and our settings have been saved, so go ahead and press OK. So now go ahead and select connect to this network, and now it should actually fail. So you can see registration is required to use this network. Go ahead and select next, and your browser should actually appear here. And there you go, we can see we are now successfully in the browser. You can see it says, welcome to the SwitchBrew DNS. So let's say you closed out of the browser or you want to get back into it. You can even just go down to the news channel and then go ahead and select find channels in the top right hand corner and select it. And uh, that too should also load the browser. So we have successfully entered the hidden browser on the Nintendo Switch. So we have a few options here on the left hand side here. So you can use your left stick to control the cursor. Uh, and we're going to want to go ahead. So we have the option to do a Google search. So I'm going to select Google here and we can enter a Google search. So go ahead and put your cursor over the text box and hit A to select it. And I'll bring up the keyboard. Alright, so I just did a Google search for how to get the Ironwood Kitchenette in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And uh, we can either go ahead and accept it to enter uh, the search, but I'm just going to tap on Google search there, and that should go ahead and do a Google search. And there we go, so it's kind of hard to read here, and you can use the right stick here to actually zoom in to the page, so you can uh, read it better, and like I mentioned before, your left stick is your cursor. I hope you can see it on the camera, it's a little bit hard to see. Uh, there you go. So yeah, we can uh, go ahead and you know, choose any of these links here. We also got uh, images. And uh, I, everything seems to be pretty snappy. Uh, web pages seem to load pretty well, as long as there's not too much uh, going on. So that's pretty much how you do a Google search, is actually go ahead and try and enter a specific URL. So I'm gonna choose the uh, B button to go back. So it's like your, your back page is your B button. So now let's go ahead and enter a specific URL or a specific website we want to go to. So I'm going to choose enter URL here and let's go ahead and enter a specific URL here. So www.porsche.com. Okay, and then we can tap on load the page and you might get this security warning here just go ahead and uh, press allow you can just ignore that and that's going to load our web page now it's going to ask me to choose a region so to scroll down you just take your cursor and just move it down and that will scroll down and uh, scroll up uh, so let's choose north america and then canadian english and that's going to load our page like i mentioned earlier uh, pages tend to load pretty well you can see that uh, if you give it a second here it will load the page entirely, it's just a little bit slow, but it does seem to load the full web page. Uh, it, I find like pictures aren't, uh, you know, loaded in weird, like everything's like positioned properly, like images aren't uh, positioned in weird spots, and there's no like weird artifacts on the screen. See, the entire page is loaded, just takes some time for some of the pictures to load there. But otherwise, everything does seem to load pretty well. Uh, one thing that you can't actually load here is YouTube videos or just videos in general. So you can't just go on YouTube.com. 
uh, and watch a video. Uh, or if you're on some sort of news website and you want to watch a video that's uh, attached to an article, you won't be able to do that. But I don't think it's a big deal because, you know, there is a YouTube app or a YouTube channel that you can uh, download. So it's not a big deal. Uh, one thing you can actually do, which we might try and demonstrate later, is you can load some browser games. All right, so finally uh, on the main home screen here for Switch Pro DNS, we also have this option here that says useful links, and we have the option to add custom links. I'm pretty sure that these are like uh, bookmarks, bookmarks or uh, favorites. I haven't really messed with these too much. So uh, down here, when you're actually on this page, you can actually scroll down with the cursor. You need to use the D-pad uh, to scroll down. And uh, we have Switch related links. So this is just, um, you have a few games here which are actually designed to, um, to work in the browser here. So I'll choose Pac-Man here and uh, we can play Pac-Man and this tends to load pretty pretty flawlessly. I'm pretty sure this game here is actually designed to work in this browser uh, but I actually was able to play some other browser games like for example slither.io I was able to play. Um, it was very laggy and very stuttery it wasn't the best experience but it actually did load pretty well and it loaded entirely. Uh, anyways go ahead and uh, hit back here so you just have uh, in the switch related links, you just have some uh, some switch information here, some homebrew stuff, and like I said, these uh, games that are meant to be played on the browser. Uh, but finally, we have some other links here, and these are just links to you know some of the most pop popular uh, websites out there. So finally, let's go ahead and load uh, Reddit here, and I can show you that it loads very very well. And there you go, we are on Reddit, and it looks like the entire thing is now loaded. And uh, let's go ahead and try loading post here. All right, so I just found this post here that we can try and load here. And like I said, it takes a second, but uh, Reddit actually loads very, very well. And we have the entirety of uh, Reddit here if I click on the post uh, specifically. Uh, we can probably even go down and uh, see some of the comments. So everything uh, tends to run uh, very, very well. So that's pretty much it to the uh, Nintendo Switch web browser, but when you're done, you're going to want to go back to system settings, uh, internet, or not parental controls, internet, internet settings, uh, choose your network again, chain settings, and you're just going to want to set DNS settings back to automatic and uh, just set them back to the way they were before. Go ahead and click save, and then uh, connect to this network. And uh, that's basically it. So let's hope in the future we get a web browser for the Nintendo Switch. I mean, it's 2020 and we have a console here that doesn't have a web browser. It'd be nice, you know, in the middle of a game, you just want to look something up. Uh, it'd be easier than going to like a smartphone or PC. And even the, PC, or the PSP from 15 years ago, released in 2005, uh, came with a web browser.